Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here at Empty Paradise. So today's video, and we're actually going to be doing an upgrade to the Lexus. Well, at least I hope it's going to be an upgrade. It's a cold air intake system. So yeah, I feel like it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, right now, it just has like the basic stock one. I did just put a new filter in there, and I use a K&N filter, and I'm pretty sure it's actually doing pretty good. But there's the engine bay. So it's the two-liter turbo version, and this is what I plan on replacing. So obviously this entire duct all the way to here is going to get replaced. And then I do have plans for this whole trim piece as well as the top of these and the engine cover. So definitely stay tuned for those because those are going to be some pretty awesome upgrades. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and work on this. So let's just go ahead and open it up. Alrighty. I assume this can be like the instruction manual. Let's just throw that off to the side. We can't get some rubber, some seals and stuff. We got some hardware. And if you guys didn't already see, this is from AEM. There will be a link in the description down below where you can pick this up um, from Amazon actually. So it makes it quick and convenient. It was on Prime. So that process made it way easier. There's a lot of parts. Ooh, this is a filter. Okay, AEM. And that's a washable filter, too, if you guys didn't already know. There's <laughs> so much paper in here. Alright, there's the actual tube itself. That's kind of nice. Okay. I like that. And then this would be like the replacement for like the air box. Kind of like the firewall. But I am going to make that a separate how-to video, so definitely go hit the subscribe button so you can see that video whenever it does come out. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and skip forward to the cold air intake system on. All right, guys, so the intake is officially on, and I think it looks absolutely amazing. So here it is, and let me know what you guys think. All right, so I think it looks incredible how all this is kind of matching. It's like a nice, uh, mostly neutral colors. And then you got the red filter, which I really like the look of the red filter. Uh, there's other brands where this is like bright red or other bright colors, which kind of look odd to me, but I absolutely love this. And I love how it has like this new firewall right here with this kind of like this squishy rubber. So whenever I close the hood, it'll actually sit down nice and smooth on that. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks absolutely amazing. But also these welds look incredible. So yeah, this thing is insane. But if you guys wanna pick up the same exact AEM cold air intake for your car, definitely go down in the description down below. There's gonna be a link to Amazon. It's actually where I did get this. Uh, it does have Prime, so I ordered it and it was like, I think like one or two days and it was here. So definitely link in the description down below. Pick yours up because I think it looks amazing. I haven't driven it yet, but that'll be next. All right guys, so this video is skipping over all over the place. I'm like days later from that last clip when I installed the intake, but I am gonna show you guys some clips of kind of driving around with the intake and like the cool sounds it now makes because you can actually hear the turbo and all that. Um, but right now I'm actually about to head to a small car meet. And then after that, I'm actually gonna go over to one of my other properties. Uh, it's gotta clean that up. I'm gonna end up selling that one and then probably buy a couple more after that. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna get that all cleaned up and um, get ready for the listing. But right now it's like 7.30 in the morning and it's like 50 degrees outside, which for Texas is crazy, especially in October. But the sunrise looks so amazing. So check this out. All right guys, so for the sound on the intake, I don't know if a highway test is gonna be good or not, but you guys could probably hear the sound. I don't know, we'll see. It definitely makes some pretty cool sounds at lower speeds and you don't have all that highway noise of the tires on the road. All right guys, so this truck in front of me actually has a like little pizza planet thing on top, like a little rocket ship. But I've seen pictures of this, but it's like a legit like pizza planet truck. So yeah, <laughs> that was like really cool. But also I'm gonna go under this bridge and maybe you guys can hear the turbo noise a little bit more. You 
can definitely hear the turbo whistle there. Alright guys, so I'm just wrapping up the meet right now. Um, it's actually a really good turnout. So I'm at Detail Garage, uh, Northwest San Antonio. The amount of cars here was absolutely insane. Uh, there's so many awesome people I was talking to. So I tried to film a lot of stuff. I wasn't really doing like a specific car meet video, but there was just, like I said, a lot of awesome people and I spent more time talking to the people. But now I'm gonna go ahead and head over. I'm gonna go home and change and then get all the stuff to start cleaning up and prepping the other house to then sell that soon. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with that. All right, so I did get this car as a Home Depot car, which that's currently where we are. We're gonna put all this stuff in here. This is gonna be like the first of many trips. But yeah, let's go ahead and get it loaded up. All right guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up the video right here. There's all kinds of work I'm doing at the other house and this car has been phenomenal. Like, like I've made so many trips on this thing, just completely loading it up with stones and rocks. It's gonna go around like the front plan area at the other house, like all the landscaping, but yeah, this video is like a little all over the place. It's not my normal style, but if you guys like this video, definitely go down and hit that like button down below. But also hit that subscribe button because the next car that's going to be sitting over here is going to be absolutely insane. Like, if you thought my Porsche was crazy, you are not ready for the next car. I promise you it's going to be absolutely insane. So definitely hit that subscribe button. If you guys are new here, thank you for watching to the end. I do appreciate it. But like, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.